Daryl. Man, it's an honor to have you on Sports Talk 1996 with me, Zach Barnett. And let's get it rolling with how have you been since retirement? Man, I've been good, man. Just, uh, you know, spending a lot of family time, being a full-time dad and a uh, full-time husband for once, you know. And then just started my own business, you know, training offensive linemen. Definitely. So uh, with your academy, how did that get it uh, started? And what motivated you to get it uh, all on the road, man? So, I mean, when I was in the league, my one of my, my friends was talking to me about training, training kids, like offensive mm-hmm. linemen or kids or even people in college in the NFL. He's actually my D-line coach. Is Shagun, his name is Shagun. Um, so I was like, I was thinking about it. I was like, hmm, he, I don't know. You know, I wasn't really feeling it. And then one of my former teammates in uh, Alabama, he was doing it. He was retired before I got out of the league, and he was doing it. So, you know, it's something, football something I'm still passionate in. So I was like, I might as well give it a shot. Um, mm-hmm. The area that I'm in, in Denton, there's not a lot of trainers in this, and especially there's not a offensive line or a defensive line trainer so mm-hmm. you know i kind of want to start to do my own thing and you know see see where it got me you know helping kids or or college kids or even people in the nfl reach their full potential definitely it looks like it's uh going pretty well for you right yeah it's doing good so far taking it day by day Definitely, definitely. So let, let's scroll it uh, t- towards your NFL journey. As a rookie, my audience knows you for being with the Carolina Panthers. They went to the Super Bowl, uh, the 15-1 and season. So with that Super Bowl going against the Denver Broncos and Peyton Manning, what do you think the underlying reason the Panthers came up uh, short was it uh, preparation or a lack of talent? Um, I don't think either. You know, um, we had we that that team. The all my four or five years I was with the Panthers, we prepared mm-hmm. like crazy, man. I had I had one of the best O line coaches that I've ever came across. So we always prepared like crazy, and we had hella talent on that team. <laughs> if you go back and look at the look mm-hmm. at the roster, our t- the talent was out out the roof. Um, but, you know, I, I was a rookie then. I didn't play as much. Um, I was just like the jumbo tight end. I was just playing my role. But, I mean, just looking from the outside in, um, well, I don't, I don't, I shouldn't say that, but looking, I guess, from the sidelines kind of, it's just like, mm-hmm. I think it was just one of our worst games that, that year. And then I think um, it was just the little things. It was like the attention to detail, the little things. You know, um, we always, I think, Von, you know, Von Miller went off that game, you know, Definitely. but we always, you know, we always were, um, we always went over, you know, just to, you know, to chip and make sure we chip and, you know, help the tackle or, or, you know, there was little things that just happened, you know, miss catches, you know, just the little things. So, um, that's what I, I think just attention to detail that game. Um, we had the talent and we were very prepared. It's just, it was just the Broncos day, I would say. Definitely. What? From looking in on the Super Bowl itself, I don't understand why Cam Newton didn't jump on those fumbles, man. They were right there. Yeah, I mean, and I don't, I don't know. I just know. Again, I'm not, I'm not Cam. I'm not a quarterback. I'm neither. I'm just a lineman. But I just know in practice, mm-hmm. when a situation like that happens, quarterbacks aren't taught to jump on on mm-hmm. the ball because you know they don't want to mess up their their shoulder or, or their arm. Mm-hmm. or whatsoever so you know i don't know i can't really speak on that but uh you know it's just it just wasn't our day that day definitely definitely i completely understand and man you went on to have a good nfl career so with your time in buffalo your uh your last years there you were with uh, josh allen so being in practice with him and playing alongside him what was his What's his ceiling for being an NFL quarterback? His preparation, his talent, what's his ceiling? I mean, I, I would think the highest it could go. I mean, <laughs> I mean, past the sky, past the moon, past the stars or whatever, man. His ceiling is crazy, dog. Um, definitely one of the best players I've been around and played with. Um, man, I just can't wait to see what he does this year. Definitely. Like with, that's another team, man. 
Like they have all the talent there. Stefan Diggs. Uh, uh, Gabe Davis. They have the talent there. They just, they just keep on like the Panthers did. They fell short of their ultimate goal. Like with the 2023 season, what is your record prediction for the Buffalo Bills? That's hard. I mean, I usually, I mean, being in the NFL, playing, uh, and when people ask, oh, are you going to be good or not? I, I don't answer. I don't, I never answer. I, I just say, I don't know. I mean, because it's just a, it's just a hard sport and a tough business. You know, everybody's good. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, if I had to guess, I would just to be kind of conservative. I would say like 12 and five or maybe, yeah, I would say 12 and five. I mean, last year they were hit with a very hard schedule and this year the same, you know, they have, I think they have six primetime games. Um, but they have a lot of talent and they have great coaches. They have a great organization backing them up. Um, again, I can't wait to see what they do. Definitely. And I think they're missing peace. I'm not dropping no uh, uh, mic bombs, but they need to go out and pick up Ezekiel Elliott. Mm, I mean, I don't they, know. Need to, they need to do <laughs> I, it. I think, they need to do man, it. I, I think it would definitely help them. But I mean, they, I mean, Cooks is a... Is a for being a rookie last year, he did really good. He's going to be really, I think he's going to be really good this year. I mean, they, I mean, their talent is out the roof. That team, I mean, they might, they might not need any more pieces, you know. They're just, I think they just got to put it together, you know. They just got to stay focused the whole year and, you know, hopefully they can get it done. But they, they're, that running back in the goal line situations and that uh, role, I think Ezekiel Elliott would be pretty good with them. Like, with a limited role, and his body is taking so much of a beating, like the running back spot, but like him being in Dallas, like the injuries, it takes a toll. Like with you being an offensive lineman, who in the NFL stacks up as the best in the league right now? Are you talking about the best what, defensive uh, lineman or, uh, or offensive lineman? Who is the best offensive lineman in the league? Yeah, that one's uh, off the That's off tough. the cuff. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my my OU dogs. I'm gonna go with Trent Williams. I'm gonna go with Lane Johnson. I think they're the best. Um, Trent's a beast. She's a beast. Lane's a beast too. Uh, you can go Zach Martin. He's been doing it at a high mm -hmm. level for a long time now, um, since before I got in the league. So uh, those are just the ones off the top of my head. Definitely, definitely. Well, Daryl, where can my audience find you on social media? You guys can find me on Instagram at Trench underscore mob underscore academy, or you can find me on Facebook at Daryl Williams or Trench Mob Academy, um, and Twitter, uh, DWill underscore TMA. Uh, please give me a follow. Sounds good, man. Daryl, man, it's been an honor to have you on Sports Talk 1996 with me, Zach Barnett, and we'd welcome you back for another one, sir.